we are given this information and we have to obtain the OLS estimators of beta 1 and beta 2 for the two variable model that is this model. So first of all, let me clear the notations over here. I'm going to call the estimator of beta 1 as b1 and I'm going to call the OLS estimator of beta 2 as b2. So these are the notations of the estimators that I'm going to use. Now if you know your formulas well, then you should know that b1 is equal to y bar minus b2 x bar and b2 is equal to summation of xi minus x bar multiplied with yi minus y bar divided by summation of xi minus x bar whole square. And you have to find the value of b1 and b2 given this information over here. Now note that before you could find b1, you need to find b2 because the formula for b1 has b2 over here. So let's talk about b2 first. Now note that there are various formulas to calculate the value of b2. Generally speaking, many students remember this formula, but in this case, you cannot use this formula directly because the information that's given to you is not in this particular manner. So they have not given you the value of the denominator directly or they have not given you the value of the numerator directly. So what we are going to do is that we are not going to work with this formula. We are going to work with the other formula that we have for B2. So the other formula that we have for B2 is this one and the denominator is summation of xi square minus n x bar square. Now see, I'm not going to explain you in this video that from where do we get this formula or how do we go from here to here as I've already covered this in detail in a separate video. Okay, so assuming that you're okay with this formula, let's proceed further. So first of all, I'm going to find the value of b2. So b2 is equal to, the first term over here is summation of xy. You are directly given the value of that. It's 4 double 1 triple 0. So this is 4 double 1 triple 0 minus n is 10. Then you have x bar and y bar. You're not given the value of x bar and y bar directly, but it's quite simple to find. We know that x bar is equal to summation of xi over n. And we are given that summation of x is equal to 3400. So this is 3400 divided by 10 because n is equal to 10. So this is 340. Similarly, y bar is equal to summation of y i over n. We are given that summation of y is triple to zero. So this is equal to triple to zero divided by 10. And this is triple two. So x bar is 340, y bar is triple two. We can put over here the value of x bar. We can put over here the value of y bar. So this is your numerator. And in the denominator, the first term is summation of x i square, which is this. So six double four triple zero and the second term is n x bar square. So n and the square of x bar, so 340 square. And if you solve this, you will get that B2 is equal to 0 0.6714. So B2 is equal to this. Now, once you know the value of B2, it's quite simple to find the value of B1. B1 is equal to y bar minus B2 x bar. I already know that y bar is 222. So 222 minus 0 0.6714 multiplied with x bar that is 340 and if you solve this you will get that b1 is equal to minus 6.276 and that's it this question was quite straightforward the only thing that you have to be careful about is which formula of b2 you have to use so in this question the information was given in such a manner that using this particular formula makes sense and this is the reason you should be familiar with different formulas to calculate B2 because they can give you information in such a manner that using one particular formula will save you a lot of time in the exam. Okay.